All right, so there's these two cards. Okay, car A accelerates at 1.5 meters per second squared uh, to a speed VA2 of 5 meters per second until it's ready to calculate the time for A to travel the 15 meters. So how long does that take? Uh, Yeah, car B's at rest. Okay. Um, yeah, the easiest way to do this, I would imagine, is something like x equals, um, well, problem. Hmm. If you have your calculator that does, like, uh, what you call it, quadratics, then it's pretty easy just to say v0t plus 1 half at squared and solve for t. But does it accelerate the What we can say is this will be good. This will be good for the second part of it. Well, actually, for the second part of it, we can just use that because then it doesn't accelerate. And for the first part of it, we can use this. Okay, so there you go. So we're just going to get a time for T2 and a time for T1. Right, and then we know that X1 plus X2 is equal to 15 meters, right? So now we can say... Uh, v0 t2 plus v0 t1 plus 1 half a t squared equals uh, 15 meters. And of course, v0 is, yeah, that's t2 plus, and then this is 5 t1 plus 1 half times 1.5 uh, t2 and that equals 15 meters. Ah, wow, that doesn't help you yeah, two times. Well, if you do v equals v0 plus a t, you can find t2. Because v equals v0 plus a t. Because you know final velocity because it accelerates until a certain velocity. You know beginning velocity. Oh, okay, over here. Good, that's a great one. So, yeah, using um, v a2, that's going to equal the v0 plus a sub a times t1, right? So there you go. So then that allows us to say t1 is going to be the va2 minus v0 over a sub a. And then, you know what, you don't have to plug in all this crap for like algebra. Just find a number, plug it in, and then use the quadratic property. So that will give you t1, and then t2 you can find that way. So basically, what we're saying is, I would say something like, you can use this to find T1, and then, I guess if you wanted, you could go, yeah, you could go back and say X1 is V0T plus 1 half AT squared, right? Plug this in here, because that's T1s, and then that would give you X1, um, and then, we're supposed to find the total time, right? Yeah, so then you can say, uh, you know what, let me, let me do this. So I'll, I'll, this is like kind of like a second way to do it. Once you found x2, then you can say, I'm sorry, x1, you can say, um, oh, x2 is like 15 minus x1. And then you know that um, the velocity, VA2, is 5 meters per second. So you can say T2 is going to be... Um, x2 divided by va2, and then just add the two times together. So, so either one, right? Whatever works for you. Now we just do a, a collision, right? Uh, and then this collision, they don't stick together, so they're, they're going to collide elastically, I'm assuming. Do they give us any indication as such? Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking they're bumper cars, so that's going to tell us, right? So then we can say, like, um, MA VA1 plus MB V2 
BB1 equals MABA2 plus MBBB2, and then VB1 was zero, right? It was at rest. Uh, so then we can say something like um, VA2 is equal to MA. VA1 minus MB, VB2, all over MA. And then since you can see that this VB2 is smaller than this, well, actually, we don't know. We're going to look at the masses. Uh, is MA bigger? Yeah, it is, right? 250? So that's 250 times 5 minus 200 times 4.8, all over 250. So that's good. We know it's going to be positive. So then this is going to move to the right. Right. Do you see it has to be positive? That's why we get the answer of whatever 1.2 or something. I would look at this. If there is a delta KE, if there's a significant delta KE, then it is inelastic. If there is zero Ke, I mean zero delta Ke, then it's going to be an elastic collision. So I'm going to find Ke final minus Ke initial. Does this make sense to you? Okay. So this one comes out to be Ke final is MAVA2 squared, whatever this is, you know plus one-half MBVB2 squared, uh, and minus one-half MAVA1 squared. And we know all these numbers, right? VA2 was 1.2, VB2 was 4.8, and VA1 was 5. So plug it all in and see if you get, a, get something. I don't know off the top of my head. I would say off the top of my head, I would say, is this elastic? Um, I would say no. What I would say is it's not perfectly elastic. Perfectly elastic, right? But if you look at the initial kinetic energy, like 1 half, um, 250, and then 5. So 25 times 25 to 625, so that's like 313, 30,000. But I would say um, the delta Ke is small, so it could be, for all intents and purposes, elastic. That's probably what I would